Now before we start exploring uh, Magome, one thing we do have to remember is that until now we've been outside and we've been pretty much all on our own. So it's been okay to go around without a mask. But from here on in, uh, inside the Magomo Juku, they do want us to keep distance from other, from other people, wear a mask, and whenever we're going to the shops or anything, uh, use the alcohol that's provided. So let's get started, put our masks on, and let's head on in. We're here at the uh, Magome Tourist Information Office. Uh, one thing we just wanted to let you know about is they actually have a luggage forwarding service from both Nakatsugawa Station to here, and then from here on to Tsumago. So what you would do is you have to drop your luggage off in the morning, for example, in Nakatsugawa, and it would be delivered by uh, evening to your accommodation, same day, here in Magome. And then, again, if you're going from Magome on to Tsumago, you drop your luggage off here in the morning, um, they'll deliver it uh, early afternoon to Tsumago, so you can pick it up when you get there. Unfortunately, due to Corona at the moment, uh, the services are not running. Um, we're not sure when they'll be back, so we're not going to give you too many uh, specific details right now in the video, um, just because things might change uh, once things uh, settle down and uh, start back up again. But be sure that when you're planning your trip here to look into um, the luggage forwarding service, and we'll have information about that on our website, and also on the tourist information websites uh, for this area, which is a, a great way to do, a great way to enjoy the hike without carrying all of your luggage with you. This region has been famous for hundreds of years for their, for the, for the good quality of their lumber. Um, so it's been sustainably uh, harvested here, going back hundreds of years and used throughout Japan for everything from building homes to uh, building uh, some of the bathtubs you'll find in onsens to uh, household goods um, and furniture. Um, and here they have an example of the five main trees that are harvested in this area. Um, the most famous one is here on the left is the Hinoki tree. Um, so as you're walking throughout the day, be sure to take a look at these before you go and maybe you can identify some of them as you're uh, heading out for the day. Almost the top of the Magome Juku approach uh, before we actually get out into the countryside on our way to Tsumago. So what I'd recommend if you uh, have a bit of time and you fancy a drink is to stop here. We've got the uh, Cafe Cafe. Um, <laughs> they're on your right hand side as you're coming up. You can look out for this sign or the ice cream cone. And if you come on with me, we've got an English menu here. And a few other things as well. So you can grab your drink, and then we'll show you in just a bit um, the view from their terrace, which is uh, quite nice. So let's get some. Let's get a drink. Right. So I just got my drink. So let's take a quick walk through the cafe, and we'll show you the uh, the, the view. So as you're walking through, you can see they've got a bunch of local arts and crafts. If you want to pick up any any gifts to take back home, and then coming through, you've got. Uh, some indoor seating with a view out of the mountains, as well as the uh, terrace seating here. And unfortunately, today the view is not the best, but um, you can hear, you can see the mountain here in the background. And if you're here at the right season, you can see it after all everything's changed colors um, in the fall. So we're a little too early this year, uh, this time of year, but uh, a little bit later on, uh, you'll see the you'll see the mountain alive with color. So enjoy your drink. Alright, we 
have just left uh, Magamo Juku itself, um, and just a short walk up the hill, uh, we've gotten to this overlook, just in time for sunset. So, looking back over here, we have um, Magamo Juku. Um, this will actually be the end of my walk today. I'll be staying here, and then I'll uh, meet you again tomorrow to continue on to Tsumago. So, good night, and see you tomorrow. Got up, had breakfast, and ready to head on to Tsumago. Um, really quickly before we head out today, um, on the Nakatsugawa, this is the 43rd host town coming from Tokyo. So if you start in Tokyo and you're making your way through the, along the Nakatsugawa to, uh, to Kyoto, this would have been the 43rd host town. Today we're making our way up, uh, continuing up and over into Tsumago, which is the 42nd. So right now, the way we're walking. We're on our way to uh, Tokyo. And this is going to be uh, a good bit, about a seven kilometer uh, walk. Um, it'll take roughly about three hours or so. Um, it goes, it'll go up and then down into uh, Tsumago. So uh, let's get started. 